Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup 25th August 2018. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company or how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we'll analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align the trades with the market's direction. We will study market's direction using market breadth and technical analysis of the broad market ETFs. In addition to aligning the trades with the market direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We will study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may go through some of the recent ideas shared in our traders forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart after displaying the bearish headwind until last week oil drop. Last week's candle color was magenta the shape was indecisive with both upper as well as lower tails. This week oil reversed sharply. It ended with a cyan color candle and also a bullish shape candle in the weekly chart. In the daily chart price was in downtrend with lower lows and lower highs. In the last market roundup I had mentioned that if price came to the value area and tilted down giving a magenta candle that would give us a short trade opportunity. But it didn't tilt down, didn't give us a magenta color candle, instead went up straight. There was no low risk swing entry opportunity in US oil while it moved from the lower boundary to close to the upper boundary. When an instrument makes such wild move was in downtrend and then it went up sharply upward, it is unlikely that we get trend following swing trade entry opportunities. It is more likely to give reversal trade opportunity maybe a bound trade setup or a headwind trade setup. US oil didn't give us any of those setups. However, some of the energy sector stocks might have given us reversal trade setups that ended with profit. We will later look at some of those stocks. Gold ETF GLD. Gold was in sharp downtrend. 
last week's candle was also bearish somewhat mixed you can say because the candle had long lower tail but the body was solid so the shape was mixed this week gold also made a reversal weekly ended with a bullish shape candle the color remained neutral in the daily chart it was below lower boundary lines it went up from there pulled back and went up again on friday friday's candle broke above the memory resistance line and friday had very high activity as well if the weekly candle color was cyan then on friday we could probably take a trend following long trade in gold you may keep an eye on gold for possible low risk entry opportunity in the long direction from commodities analysis we move to market breadth analysis every week we study market breadth using nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index both using weekly charts because this analysis is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading nasdaq was moving sideways for a few weeks in the past this week it went up made a new all time high however on the composite index chart it is still moving somewhat inside the range we have to see if next week it continues to go up it has broken above the previous high if it continues to go up then we may look for trading from the long direction the divergence that was taking place between nasdaq index and new high low that seems to be coming to an end the new high low could break above the trend line significantly it went up closed in the positive the same thing was true for advance decline and up down volume nasdaq candle as well as the internals look quite bullish the same bullishness is not visible in nyse it is far from previous all time high it went up this week but couldn't go above the peak of this yellow candle that same muted performance is visible in the internals as well new high low went up closed above zero however advance decline and up down volume came down from previous week though they both closed comfortably above zero the memory support lines for both nasdaq and nyse are providing robust support in summary we can say that nasdaq and nyse continue to be in uptrend they will be in uptrend until this memory support lines are broken internals for this week is bullish all the six internals closed positive and four of them went up nasdaq is strong nyse is bullish but not as strong as nasdaq do you think the same picture is true when we look at the broad market etfs let us find out s&p 500 etf spy this is showing a different picture from the broad index 
NYSE index was far from new all-time high. However, SPY made a new all-time high this week. In the daily chart, it was bound by the watermark resistance previous week. This week, it could break out of that. It is not inside any kind of triangle pattern right now. SPY is bullish. It is too close to the upper boundary lines for us to take any swing long trade right now. We may look for S&P 500 components and try to trade them from the long side. NASDAQ 100 ETF QQQ Interestingly, though NASDAQ broad index made new all-time high, QQQ could not. It closed almost at the same level as previous week and closed below the watermark resistance level. In the daily chart, it continues to be inside the triangle pattern. This is somewhat conflicting, isn't it? The broad indices are showing that NASDAQ is much stronger than NYSE, whereas the ETFs are showing that tech stocks, QQQ, are actually weaker than S&P 500. This doesn't give convincing bullish picture of the market. When the broad indices and the ETFs are not in sync, it may be better to be cautious. One way Q traders can be cautious is to take less trades and also to balance long positions with short positions. Or if one is taking only long trades, maybe protect the positions with put option so that a downturn doesn't erode the capital. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA, it went up, ended with an indecisive shape candle, both with upper tail as well as lower tail. Far from last all-time high. In the daily chart, it could break above the watermark resistance, so it is not inside any triangle pattern. It is in uptrend now too close to the upper boundary for us to take any swing long trade. Russell 2000 ETF IWM like SPY this could also make new all-time high. In the daily chart it broke above the watermark resistance level. It is in clear uptrend now. This is conflicting isn't it? Usually we see that when IWM is going up, that is small cap stocks are going up, QQQ goes up along with it. This week it is different. SPY went up and IWM went up. Again sending us conflicting signal, probably better to be cautious. Whatever be the market situation using sector industry fundamental technical analysis, Q traders can always find low risk trade opportunities and we can do the same thing this week also. Let us go through the sector industry analysis now. Every week we study 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of the current week. Green bar represents performance of one week before the red bar and the blue bar represents performance of two weeks before the green bar. Together they give us four weeks or about one month of performance. In this week eight sectors gained and three fell. This shows an overall bullish picture at the sector level. Energy was one of the worst performers last week. The worst performer last week. And this week, it is the best performer. This shows a sharp reversal up move. 
as we saw in US oil as well. Such wild move situations may not give low risk swing trade entry opportunities however bounce entry opportunities or headwind entry opportunities might be there real estate is also showing volatility from week to week you remember two weeks ago from this week real estate industries showed deceleration i discussed it in the weekly market roundup that time then one week ago it gained strength the green bar was quite strong that is the performance of one week ago and this week real estate declined so from showing deceleration to going up to going down again it is showing the up down up move that shifting mode is not making it easy to take trend following trades However, reversal trades again can be possible. We we'll later on look at some of the reversal trades that came in real estate stocks. In fact, if we look at the Q sector heat map, we'll see it is spotty, changing from cyan magenta cyan, showing the up down up move in eight of the eleven sectors. The only sectors that are not showing that prominent up down up move, they are financials, infotech, and materials. Because of this flip flop, one may be extra careful while taking directional trades. From sector study, we move to industry study. We are looking at 10 of the best performing industries we are looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores oil and energy sector sharp reversal is reflected in the industry level at, as well three of the best performers are in energy sector these are oil and gas refining and marketing oil and gas drilling and oil and gas exploration and production in oil and gas refining and marketing amrs has eps growth and also short squeeze potential this gave a bounce long signal on 20th august the entry could be taken on 20th or on 21st august near market open it has already hit the initial profit target home entertainment software is one of the best performers ea is optimally valued in this industry a possible buy opportunity was discussed in the traders forum later on we we'll look at the forum post on ea application software is one of the 10 best performers and systems software a related industry is also performing well i had shared the stock feye fireeye from system software during the week it went up sharply and hit profit target during the week let us look at q edge now look at the sectors and then look at the best performing industries specifically look at oil and gas refining and marketing home entertainment software and system software and look up the stocks amrs ea and fireeye from the qa sector heat map and scorecard we can see that energy infotech and healthcare these are the best performing sectors now and the worst performing sectors are utilities, consumer staples and real estate. The worst performers are shown in magenta color, best performers in cyan color. We can see energy had a sharp reversal. It was poorly scored last week. Sharp reversal from score of 2 to 11. If we 
look to the right we can see energy is shifting from cyan to magenta to cyan to magenta to cyan again the same is true for healthcare changing from cyan to magenta to cyan consumer discretionary from cyan to magenta to cyan industrials magenta cyan magenta cyan magenta telecom cyan magenta cyan magenta same is true for finance not financials same is true for real estate consumer staples even utilities eight of the 11 sectors are showing prominent up down up moves that is why i mentioned it is better to be cautious while taking directional trades in the industry tab the best performing industries are displayed with cyan color over five days period oil and gas refining and marketing home entertainment software and system software all of them are strong this week the score is in cyan color system software had been strong for quite a long time oil and gas refining marketing is now strong for multiple review periods home entertainment software is changing color from magenta to cyan let's drill down into oil and gas refining and marketing first amrs this stock valuation is not so good now not so attractive it has strong earnings growth in the latest quarter and also a short squeeze potential let's look at the technical chart amrs we can see it displayed a bullish headwind right at the very bottom from there price went up significantly there were two bearish headwind signals especially after the second one price pulled back somewhat then it went up again last week was a very bearish color and shape candle this week had a reversal candle candle shape and color both turned bullish this reversal happened while oil was also reversing in the daily chart we already had the memory support line price dropped sharply to the memory support line with extreme high activity very next day it reversed that gave us a bounce long trade setup because it had an upper tail one might wait for long entry and take the entry next day near market open using q fine tune chart stop would be just below the memory support line the stop was never hit by friday it went up enough to cover more than risk distance as the industry is strong the weekly candle is also very strong industry is strong technicals are strong and fundamentally we still have the short squeeze potential so in this case one would not like to exit full position partial profit will be booked and partial position would be held to try to let profit run let's now drill down to home entertainment software ea is a stock that is optimally valued it has good earnings quality i had shared possible long idea on ea in our traders forum let us look at the topic home entertainment software stock with good valuation this is the topic i posted in traders forum 5 days ago when i posted the chart looked like this in the weekly chart price came to the memory support line interestingly 
the bearish headwind signal could catch the very top. At the right edge, it came to the memory support line and we had a bullish shaped candle at that time. This was an intraday chart. The market was not closed yet. During the day, I saw there was a bullish headwind signal appearing in EA. So I thought if the day ended with a bullish headwind signal, price could close above the memory support lines in both daily and weekly. We could take a low risk long entry. However, that didn't happen. On that day, by close of the market, price actually came down somewhat the candle color turned magenta. Therefore, the signal was not confirmed. We would not take a long trade on that day, but fundamentals were strong, industry was strong, so we would keep an eye on the stock. When first time sharing this stock idea, I looked at the industry and fundamentals as well. We can see at that time, Though home entertainment was magenta in the recent review periods, it was starting to gain strength just on that day. And that was reflected in the pace column showing acceleration. I had checked the fundamentals also at the time. It was optimally value. If we look at the EA chart now as of Friday's market close, we can see weekly closed comfortably above the memory support line. Weekly had heavy activity. In daily, price tried to go below the memory support lines, but on Friday it went up. It closed above this memory support line. Looking at the industry strength, fundamental strength, and the support from the memory trend lines. One might consider taking a long right at Friday's close, putting stop just below recent low, and probably booking partial profit if price comes to the memory resistance line here. You may keep an eye on EA for a low risk entry using fine tune chart next week. System software, let us drill down to this industry. FireEye, this stock is medium valuation. This stock came to my notice from QSonar during the week and I had shared the trade idea in the forum. Let us have a look at the forum post. Cyber security stock long opportunity, I shared it three days ago. That time the chart looked like this. What I noticed is that in an earlier earnings week, price tried to go below this price level but reversed sharply with extreme high activity. And now price retested the same area and as of the post, the first time I posted FEYE, FireEye in our forum, the weekly was displaying a very bullish shape candle. In the daily, I observed that the recent earnings came in. After that, price came down, tried to test the pivot line, quarterly pivot line. In fact, went below that and then reversed, completing a false downside breakout. We already had very high activity days that could point to possible exhaustion of beers. Based on this analysis and looking at the fundamental and industry strength, I suggested one could take a long at the close of this day, putting stop just below recent low. This was also a reversal trend. So one could book partial profit when the risk distance was covered, maybe if it came to around $16.
when I shared the trade idea, I shared the industry strength also. You can see it was weak earlier, magenta, but over one day period, it strengthened heavily. And that showed up in the paste column showing the system software industry was accelerated. And it was medium valuation stock. Let's look at live charts now to see what happened to FireEye after that. FireEye as of Friday's close, I shared the long idea when it completed a false downside breakout on this day. After that it went up sharply. Our initial profit target was $16. That was hit the very next day. The weekly candle is very bullish. Industry is strong. Fundamentals are medium. In this case also, we would not like to book full profit. We'll book partial profit with discipline. That is the standard QA. And we'll hold on to partial position trying to let profit run. There are multiple memory resistance lines. For the remaining position, we will keep an eye on the stock to see if it is reversing from the memory resistance lines or is it able to pierce through them. If it is able to pierce through them, we will not be in a hurry to close the remaining position. We can continue to hold it with trailing stock. This week market was bullish. And we could take very profitable trades in several stocks using the 360 degrees analysis where we could align the industry strength, fundamental strength and also technical strength with the long trades. These are 10 of the worst performing industries for this week. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 days course. Tobacco is one industry that was weak one week ago as well and weakened even further. Because it was already weak industry one week ago, we could start to look for short opportunities. MO is a stock that is overvalued and it gave a bearish headwind short setup on this Tuesday. That hit profit target by Friday. Again, I had shared this trade idea in the traders forum. Let's look at the topic from the forum. Bearish headwind in tobacco stock. I shared it four days ago. This is how the chart looked like when I first shared the trade idea. Weekly candle color was yellow. In the daily chart, price was close to the upper boundary, close to the declining white direction line. And then there was a bearish headwind signal. Price was falling down. I identified this trade using Q sonar. We could take a shot. At this point, if we were using real time sonar, we could probably short it at a higher price, putting stop just above recent high. And we could probably try to book profit if price came down to the yellow direction line. We always look at a stock's fundamentals and industry when trading, and I shared those details also. Tobacco as an industry was weak. The colors were magenta. And in terms of fundamentals, MO was overvalued. Primary valuation column was in magenta color. And if we look at the EPS growth, it was still positive, but it declined in the latest quarter from 30.1 to 18.8%. So we had a stock that gave a 
Perry Shedwin reversal trade setup. The stock was overvalued. Earnings growth was slowing down. Industry was weak. We are very happy to take shots in these situations if there is a low risk entry opportunity. That was true in MO. Let's look at MO today. I shared the short idea when the bearish headwind came. Our initial profit target was the yellow direction line. On Friday, that initial profit target was hit. The weekly candle is very bearish. So one may continue to hold partial position. Partial position, profit will be booked because the initial profit target was hit. Though market was bullish, we could take this profitable short trade aligning the weakness of industry, fundamental weakness of the stock and the low risk entry opportunity on Q charts. Other than studying the best and worst performing industries, we also study the accelerating and decelerating industries. They allow us to catch a stock well ahead of others. The accelerating industries tend to be best performers in subsequent weeks. Decelerating industries tend to be worst performers in subsequent weeks. One week ago, many semiconductor stops declined. And if you kept an eye on those stocks, you would notice that though they were at a low price point, they were not giving any good short trade setup. When that happens and people are very bearish, it is probably time for the industry to go up again, at least enough for us to take a profitable long trade. Semiconductor equipment industry accelerated this week. And while it was accelerating this stock, PLAB, it's a high growth stock, EPS growth is accelerating. This stock went up by 23% in this week. On Tuesday, it had given a very clear go with flow trend following long trade setup. Using the fundamental strength, high growth, the industry strength acceleration and the Q technical go with flow setup, we could easily take this trade and profit from it. Large percentage move, 23% in one week. LRCX is another stock in the same industry. It is optimally valued and it has EPS growth at the same time. I shared it in Q forum. It may be ripe for a long trend. Let us look at QA, look at the accelerating industries, look at semiconductor equipment and then drill down to P Lab and LRCX. In QA, the accelerating industries of the week are shown in cyan color over base 5 days column. Semiconductor equipment was very weak and you can see it became strong, turned cyan this week and it did so with acceleration which is showing as cyan color on the paste column. Let's drill down. PLAB. PLAB is a stock that has very strong earnings growth in recent quarters, 200%, 400% and 183% respectively. It also has a short squeeze potential. This stock went up by more than 23% in the current week. LRCX is also a very strong stock, optimally valued and is having significant earnings growth both in the recent quarters as well as in the recent years. The yearly periods as well as quarterly periods are all in bright green color. The earnings quality column is showing it has strong earnings quality and it also has short squeeze potential shown by cyan color in the short squeeze column. 
let's look at these two stocks using Q charts. P lab in the daily chart it went up, tried to come down, came to the area where both the yellow and the white direction lines were there, had a series of days with candles that had lower tails and on this day gave us a cyan color candle that day had very high activity. One could take a long at the close of this day putting stop just below recent low below the memory support line initial profit target would be the upper boundary lines that was it the very next day and then it continued to go up p lab had earnings nearby therefore if someone is a long term investor after starting the stock he could still buy it as a stock for short term traders it might be more appropriate to trade it using short put verticals that would lower the risk such a short put vertical trade will make significant profit both for the delta move as well as the volatility crash whatever be the instrument one chose the stock is very strong technically now the industry is strong there is no reason to book full position profit partial position would be held trying to let profit run for LRCX, I shared the trade idea in Traders Forum. Let's have a look at that post. Is this semiconductor stock ready to bounce? I shared it in the Traders Forum five days ago. At that time, you can see that the semiconductor equipment industry was still weak if you looked at the score columns. However, the pace column was showing that it was starting to accelerate. I drilled down and identified LRCX as it is true now. It was true at that time also. LRCX was optimally valued with very nice earnings growth. In fact, with very nice revenue growth as well and with short squeeze potential. When I looked at LRCX at that time, it looked very promising. Weekly came to the memory support line, in fact two of them. Daily also was near memory support line. And when I shared the post, as of that time, the daily candle was very bullish in shape with very high activity as well. We could probably think of taking a long trade. You can say a bounce trade setup based on the price move down, then heavy activity and a reversal type candle. I think this was an intraday chart. Let's look at the live chart now. We always wait for the confirmation at the end of the day. You can take the trade just before market close but not in the morning hours because the candle pattern may change and our unambiguous checklists for trade setups may not be validated anymore near the end of the day. Let's look at LRCX as of Friday's close. LRCX using live charts. The weekly has closed above the memory support line. However, the weekly candle shape is indecisive. It has both upper as well as lower tails. In the daily chart, it has closed above the memory support line. However, now 
a memory resistance line has also appeared. Therefore, one would not take a long trade right now. You may keep an eye on LRCX. It has very nice fundamentals. If it breaks above the memory resistance line, you may consider taking a long trade, especially if the industry is continuing to go up. The stock is fundamentally very strong. Industry is reversing after weakness. If LRCX can break above the first memory resistance line, it is likely that it will give us a profitable swing trade opportunity. Decelerating industries of the week, we are looking at their 5 days and 10 days course. You can see for all of them, 5 days course are significantly lower than 10 days course. I mentioned that real estate is one sector along with others that is flip-flopping. Specialized rates decelerated and AMT overvalued stock with slowing EPS growth opposite to that of LRCX. Just now I shared a possible buy stock LRCX which is optimally valued and with very nice earnings growth. AMT is the opposite. LRCX was in accelerating industry. AMT is in a decelerating industry. For LRCX, we were looking for long setup. For AMT, we were looking for short setup. That is how we can combine the industry fundamental and technical strengths or weakness together. 360 degree straight. AMT gave a Headwind reversal short setup on this Monday and it hit profit target during the week. Again, this was a trade I shared in the Traders Forum. Let's look at the forum post. Catching overvalued rate stock at the top as it broke below memory support. I shared it four days ago in the Traders Forum. I identified the stock looking at the bearish headwind in the daily chart. At the close of that day, price was still above the memory support line. So I was not going to short it on the bearish headwind day. However, next day, it opened just below the memory support line. Using fine tune chart, Q trader should short it near the upper part of the candle. During the day, it fell down. One would continue to hold, trying to book profit after the risk distance was covered. This was also a reversal trade, not a trend following trade. Headwind trade is a reversal kind of setup. So we would like to book profit, at least partial profit, once the risk distance was covered. We would not always expect the headwind signal to result in trend change. That is why it was important to book profit once the risk distance was covered. As usual, we always look at the industry and fundamental strength or weakness in this case. And I shared it in the forum at that time. From the QA industry heat map, you could see at that time that after showing strength, cyan color over multiple periods, it was turning magenta. And the paste columns were showing that it was decelerating. So we had a stock with bearish headwind with decelerating industry. What about its fundamentals? One quick drill down showed that the stock was overvalued. Magenta color in valuation column. And if we look at the EPS growth columns, it was decelerating from 70% to negative growth of minus 6% and then to even more negative growth of minus 13% in the latest quarter. 
these are the best stocks in superior profit way for short where the industry is weakening fundamentally the stock is weak and technically we have a low risk short entry opportunity let's look at amt with live charts now to see how the trade idea played out amt as of friday's close I shared the idea based on the bearish headwind signal. The shot could be taken next day using fine tune chart. Stop would be just above recent high. And we can see by Thursday, more than risk distance was covered. So partial profit will be booked. The industry is decelerating. The weekly candle is pretty bearish. The stock is still overvalued. So in this case, again, we would like to book partial profit with discipline, but hold on to partial position trying to let profit run. Those were the regular topics. As you can see, using Q360 degrees analysis, we could identify long as well as short trades. And I shared them in real time, you can say, in the traders forum. You can find such opportunities yourself using Q systems almost every day. Let me summarize first, then I would like to go through few more stocks that may be of interest. But before that, let me summarize. This week, market went up. However, we can see conflicting signals from different Q analysis. When looking at market bread, we see that NASDAQ is strong. It made new all-time high. Internals are also strong. However, NYSE is not so strong. It is far from making a new all-time high. Internals are muted relative to NASDAQ. Normally, we would expect the market breadth scenario to be reflected in the market ETFs. However, that is not the case at all. Instead of QQQ being stronger than SPY, as we would expect, QQQ is actually weaker. SPY made a new all-time high. QQQ remained inside a triangle pattern. That is showing conflicting signals between market breadth and market ETFs. This is not the best time to be fully bullish. One approach could be to balance the long positions with short positions. Could we find long and short trades? We certainly could do as we studied from the forum posts that I shared during the week. All of those ended with profit. We could also identify some stocks that may be ripe for going up, like LRCX, etc. That is how using 360 degrees analysis, whatever with the market situation, we can always look for trade opportunities. Let me now look at some additional stocks that may be of interest. Let me look at one stock that I shared in Traders Forum. Will this pharma stock break down? I shared it in the forum four days ago. This is how the chart looked at that time. Interestingly, the bullish headwind in the weekly could catch the very bottom. From there, price went up sharply. At the right edge, we saw two successive weeks of candles with long upper tails. And for both of those weeks, price was not able to go above the memory resistance line. Then at the right edge, we had a bearish shape candle with upper tail as well as solid body it could comfortably break below the 
low of previous week's candle. And in the daily chart at the same time, I saw that price reversed from the memory resistance line and could break below the memory support line with a very bearish shape candle. Relative performance was weak. This was a breakout opportunity, short opportunity. Sometimes we can look for breakout trades using Q systems and this looked like a possible breakout short trade setup. We always try to do a 360 degrees analysis and I shared the industry and fundamental analysis also. Pharma industry was clearly weak. The recent periods were magenta, earlier it was stronger. Pace column was showing that it was decelerating. A quick drill down showed that this stock AKRX, in terms of valuation, it was medium yellow. In terms of EPS growth, it was not strong. If you look at the yearly EPS growth, it was in fact changing from almost zero, 0.6% 0 over three years to minus 23% over two years and then even more down, minus 47% in the recent year. That was not looking good. Medium valuation stock with poor earnings growth in a decelerating industry and a stock that is breaking down below memory support, reversing from memory resistance. A ripe opportunity for short in Q trading way. Let's look at AKRX as of today. AKRX as of Friday's close, I shared the short idea based on this candle, magenta candle, when it broke below the memory support line. It was reversing from multiple memory resistance lines. We already had very high activity during breakout. Next day, it tried to go up to the memory support line, but reversed and subsequent day it fell heavily. The week ended with a very bearish shape candle. I think it went down by more than 20-25% since the entry. A very profitable trade again and we could take this confidently based on real-time analysis that I shared in the Traders Forum. Anybody can do the analysis if they have access to the Q systems, very unambiguous analysis. Yet another very profitable trade, a short trade in this case, combining the weakness of industry, fundamental and technicals. Let me now share two more stocks that are of interest. You may keep an eye on them. One is an ETF. We just saw that energy is the strongest sector now. From the sector heat map, we can see energy is the strongest sector. It reversed from magenta to cyan and we could take a very profitable bounce long trade in one of the energy stocks. What about some of the energy ETFs going into next week. I saw one of them XOP. XOP, Oil and Gas Exploration ETF. We have a very bullish shaped candle in the weekly chart that refers from a pretty bearish shaped candle one week ago. In the daily chart, we can see after hitting lower boundary, it went up sharply, kind of V-shaped reversal. There was no low risk entry opportunity, at least no trend following long trade opportunity in the ETF also. What caught my attention is that on Friday, it tried to go above the memory resistance line, but closed below that with a bearish shape candle. 
there is no short trade setup yet. However, we are seeing this flip-flop pattern in many sectors. Oil also flip-flop. Next week, if oil starts to go down, or if this ETF starts to go down, using fine-tuned chart, one may take a short trade. It may be initiated as a day trade, and if that ends with profit, one may book partial profit, and depending on how the chart looks at that time, may continue to hold partial position. XOP may be giving a short trade opportunity next week if it reverses. And I have another symbol that may give a long trade opportunity. That is COTY. COTY, interesting stock to me. In the weekly, we now have two successive weeks with very heavy activity and bullish shape candles with very long lower tails. So for two successive weeks, sellers tried to push price down but fail. This week ended with an upper tail also. So we would not be taking a long at the end of the week, but keep an eye on the stock. In the daily chart, it fell down sharply below the quarterly and even the yearly, yearly pivot is in cyan color, quarterly pivot is in yellow color, fell below these pivot lines. This was the earnings time and reverse. Friday closed just below the memory resistance. Therefore, we were not going to take a long trade on Friday. However, next week, if it continues to go up, it may give us a low risk long trade opportunity. XOP we studied just now may give a short trade opportunity. XOP was an ETF, that's why we didn't look into its industry or fundamentals. COTY is a stock. Let's look at these stocks fundamentals and industry strength. In QH we can look for the stock COTI in the stock panel. Instantly from the color coding, we can see it is optimally valued stock. Let's look at its industry. We can do that by clicking the magnifying glass that will also carry out a peer analysis. We can see there are few other optimal valuation stocks also in this industry. Let's look at the industry strength. Personal products industry. It was magenta earlier. Over 10 days it turned cyan. Over 5 days it turned somewhat magenta again. Let's look at the most recent days. When we open up the 2 days and 1 day scores and base columns, we can see that gradually, now the picture is clear. Gradually, it is starting to turn bullish, turning from magenta to cyan in the scores and also in the base columns, starting to turn from magenta to cyan, showing it is starting to accelerate. So, COTY C -O -T -Y is a stock in an apparent accelerating industry with good fundamentals and possibility of reversal on the technical charts. You may keep an eye on COTY for a possible long trade. That is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thanks a lot for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably. <music>